Hello and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam Show. Hey, I'm Adam. Hey, I'm Steve. Hey, Steve. How's it going, man? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's been so long <laughs> since we've recorded one of these videos. Weren't you wearing that in the last video? Yeah, I think I was. Oh, man, we've got to remember to have the wardrobe change in between these. <sighs> so, hey, uh, today, Steve, we are, uh, so in our last episode that we not just like five minutes ago finished recording, we talked about doing, um, setting up your certificate for Apple uh, MDM um, push notification push notification certificate and so today we are going to talk about how to do the same thing for android devices or similar the android equivalent of um, allowing you to enroll android devices into your intune tenant so steve take it away cool all right so what we'll do is we'll just quickly come into our tenant um, so what we're setting up obviously is the google play connector um, and this is not loading. There we go. Um, so in here we have the ability to select the Android enrollment tab. From there, <clears throat> um, we can then select the manage Google Play account. And this is where we have the ability to link that to our existing Google Play account. <clears throat> and it's pretty straightforward. We hit I agree and we try and remember the account that we used to set it all up. Um, in this case, we've created a special account already for this. Um, and it's just thinking with its special logo, we're just going to sign in. Which is Stephen June at gmail.com. We put in our password. Yeah, close that and we're just going to hit get started <clears throat> and we're going to call this Intune dot training as our company name so this will appear when we use the company store and things like that and we now have our data protection officer that we need to define well that's going to be adam yes i finally became an officer <laughs> June. Hey, does this come with a like a shiny badge or anything? No. I, I, oh, who wants to be the EU representative? Ah, oh, it's going to be me. Actually, no, no. You know who's going to be the EU representative? Ben. That's going to be Ben. That's right. <laughs> He's not doing anything else. Of course, we've read. Uh, I hope Ben has found a new home so he can. <laughs> Come and record a video with us soon. Yes. Hey, Ben. It's going to accept. There we go. So now we yes. get the complete registration. And this will go through and set up that account for us. And it'll provide us all of the information that we've used to set that up. Um, we'll come through in a second. And it's all set up. And we can see that just like we saw with the Apple account, um, we could see the account that we've set, used to set it all up the organization name that's going to appear in the Play Store, uh, that it's set up and the registration date itself. So we'll close that. And just the same as what we had with the Apple configuration, we now have the ability to see the en uh, enrollment profiles and configure anything underneath here. <clears throat> What's a little bit different with regards to Apple to Android is Android now has the ability to have three different scenarios on how you manage those devices. So there's the corporate owned, fully managed um, user devices. Um, there's the fully owned, dedicated devices, obviously, and then the personal devices where you've got that work profile associated. This allows you to have different varying or varying different levels of control on your device, much the same as what we have with, say, autopilot and uh, be it Azure Active Directory joined or hybrid AD joined or um, if it's a kiosk or shared PC configuration. So this is where we have a whole heap of additional components associated around there. So when we were doing the <laughs> Apple enrollment, we yep. um, we didn't have to configure any additional policies because when we configured our set up our user um, enrollment restrictions, we allowed all users and all devices. And so 
Yep. Um, do we need to also configure a profile at this point or no. would we be able to just enroll <laughs> with a default profile at this stage? So right now we'd be able to enroll just with the default profile and not have to have any additional configuration. Um, the minimum requirement is the uh, play connector um, to be okay. able to then connect in and do stuff. Um, this is where it allows you to start building out more stories and configurations and associations around that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's nice and easy, um, just like the Apple Pro, um, configuration. It's around making that setup straightforward. Once you've got the connection there, you can then bring it across to manage whatever data goes on there and um, control how your staff access your applications and uh, corporate data. Excellent. And so at this point, we have a very holistic uh, configuration for our Intune tenant. So now we can enroll Windows devices, Apple <coughs> devices, Android devices, all into the same um, Intune tenant into the, and be able to see them and manage them all in the same place. And um, all of our users can self-enroll those devices, and then we can then manage what type of, uh, depending on the type of device, how we want to manage it with different levels of control, what we do and don't allow on those devices and you know, continue with the lockdown just like we would on the Windows uh, side of things. So I think this is, I mean, this is great because now we can you know, it's, it's bring whatever device you want and we can extend our business platform out to any of those devices that we need to. Yeah, exactly. Um, and what we can also do, if you're wanting to restrict certain devices, you can set that enrollment restriction status here. Uh, and once it loads up, uh, let's take a second, we can configure what permissions or what type of devices are allowed to be enrolled. And I'll just quickly switch. Um, so you can see in here for all users by default, all device types are allowed and allowed for personal devices. So this is a relatively new feature that uh, Microsoft added where you can block personally owned devices from being able to be enrolled, including Windows devices as well. Um, so this is where if you're going and buying a device from Best Buy, you can block it from actually being enrolled into your Intune tenant. Excellent. Which is pretty cool. <clears throat> so then so then let's talk at a, at a higher level for a minute. <clears throat> I don't want to lose this in in the Android video that a lot of people might not watch if they don't do Android devices. But in general, though, we've set up things like our conditional access policies and things. Do those apply to all device types? Are, I mean, I know that some of this stuff, uh, the stuff, um, the device configuration, the ADMX templates and things are Windows more Windows specific for some of those things. But what types of things are more global in nature Mm -hmm. that we can apply to devices. Yeah, so probably the big ones that you'd see is, is yes, the conditional access profiles and policies, and that's conditional access to access corporate data and how you access those da that data, be it we're going to restrict it to devices, we're going to restrict it to compliant devices or managed devices, or we're going to sit there and go um, and put in things like application protection policies. While they're configured per um, hardware vendor, those application protection policies can be consistent across all of the devices. Um, and, and what I mean by that is it allows you to sit there and have um, outlook on the iOS and Android devices uh, to only uh, to not allow access to corporate data based on uh, if the device has been rooted or jailbroken, or if it's not the right, um, not if you're not using Outlook and things like that, and block device backups and block you from exporting or copying data from your corporate applications to production or to your personal data space. Excellent. So, uh, so essentially, the we're trying to allow you the most utility with the most security and having a good fit between those. Exactly. Excellent. Well, hey, I think that was short and sweet. We've um, mm -hmm. knocked out all of the device types and we're going to end this one here and um, we'll see you on the next video.
Yep. Uh, and make sure you hit us up on Twitter. I'm Steve Hosking at on prem cloud guy. And I'm Adam Gross at Adam Gross TX. Uh, and if you've got any questions or anything you want us to cover, feel free to let us know. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Steve. Take it easy. Thanks, Adam. See ya.